is just fantastic. Captain's Log, Subject 211101.1. That is far too many ones for one Captain's Log. While D Orbiter works on rebuilding Crewman Bork, I've requested a new pilot from Subfleet who are a little bit annoyed about Bork's fate. They've still sent me a new one regardless. You know, I've come to the realization we haven't done a proper news coverage article based video that isn't the exhibition of stupid people or something from this week at Twitter in quite some time. Or twat. So, what I thought we'd do today is revisit an argument that was made in 2015, 2016, 2017 that since like the anti-SJWs and the Skeptic Clones trademark of that era has died out. And that is the argument of equality of opportunity and equality of outcome. You'll understand why as we get into the article we're going to go through today. So for this story we're going to go to North Carolina to a gentleman called David Duval. David Duval worked for Novant Health, which is a healthcare provider with more than 15 hospitals and about 350 physician practices, which offers medical treatment in the state of North Carolina. According to Google, it markets itself as a non-profit organization. I'm going to hard X to doubt that. From the year 2013 till 2018, David Duval worked there as a senior vice president of marketing and communications where upon almost reaching his five-year anniversary with the company, he was, well, removed from his post. Which is quite coincidental because had he reached the five-year mark, he would have been eligible for a rather sizable severance package. Turns out if you're there for a certain amount of time, that exponentially increases to protect you and show faith from the company you work for. Then again, you've been removed before the five years. Seems coincidental which I'm sure David Duval himself thought the case because he then sought legal action against them, Novant Health that is, because he believed that he was unfairly dismissed from his high paid position. In his lawsuit, he claimed to be terminated without cause as part of a campaign to promote diversity in its management ranks, along with it being discrimination in violation of Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act specifically prohibits discrimination in the terms and conditions of employment, which includes hiring, compensation, employment benefits, advancement, employment training assignments, and termination of employment. It also prohibits employment discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, which includes gender, pregnancy, sexual orientation, and gender identity, along with national origin. Novant Health claimed that actually he had been terminated for deficient performance and for delegating critical duties to subordinates. Since being removed from his post in 2018, he was replaced straight away by a black woman and a white woman. This is referenced in the article, not me stating just cause. Why you need two people to do the job that one man could do is interesting. Perhaps they learnt their mistakes from him. It's just a thought. Now I said this was talking points similar to that of 2016, which is quite concerning because this way of solving inequality seems oddly inappropriate. Because you don't solve inequality by tearing others down as it ends up breeding more inequality. Granted the social norm seems to normalize tearing other people down if they are a majority because structures of power is a regurgitated argument as well. It does not justify creating additional or newer forms of inequality, because you haven't solved inequality. People that say otherwise are stupid, and you know you're stupid because you the person that believes that is an okay way of treating or addressing inequality are turning a blind eye to another problem that is being created because of it, ignoring the consequences, instead of seeking to find a solution where everyone is being elevated together. Since his removal, this has been going through appeals and blah 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 to eventually in 2021 reach a federal jury trial which was held at the beginning of this month and on Tuesday a verdict was handed down. This is why I'm wearing the Judge Moist outfit today people. It's the right thing to do, it's not halls of injustice worthy in the slightest though. So Novant Health were found guilty of unfair dismissal 
with the jury indicating that they believed David Duval's race and sex were a motivating factor in his removal as Vice President of Marketing and Communications, which I'm sure put a huge smile on David Duval's face. So what was the punishment for Novant Health and the, let's say, compensation for David Duval? The punishment was a rather sizable fee, the fine being that of 10 million US dollars, which in real money is about 200 Monopoly pounds. 10 million dollars because he had managed to convince the jury that his race and sex were a motivating factor in his removal from a high paid position. Upon receiving this verdict, Novant Health said, we are extremely disappointed in the verdict as we believe it is not supported by the evidence presented at trial which includes our reasons for Mr. Duval's termination. We will pursue all legal options including appeal. So on one hand, David has a rather big win. Whoa. On the other, and as is their right, Novant Health are going to appeal, which means that he won't receive this yet, because this has to go further, until all options are exploited, explored, and they just give up, or someone else gives up, or one gets the verdict they really want, knowing that the other person can't appeal it any further. In reality though, I just want to rant about a certain point here. They have in North Carolina been guilty of essentially being racist and sexist. And it's one of those cases where people are starting to understand and accept it's not okay to do it to somebody just because they're white and male. It really isn't. And I will stand by my position that if you think the only way to elevate somebody else of another race or gender, identity, blah blah, all the other factors in the world is to tear someone else down to their level and then put someone in their place cause you are not solving the problem. You are merely taking the work away from another person. I fully believe in a meritocratic society. That does not mean you're always going to get equality of outcome. It means that everyone has equality of opportunity. And I fully support that. Because if you start pushing for equality of outcome, people will be excluded because of arbitrary factors. Now I know someone's going to say because I'm in the UK it's not the same kind of issue as it is in America. I would argue it's not the same kind of issue in each individual state in America. Because your states are so big together. Hell, they're so big on their own. Think how many UKs you get into one of your states. And I know some of them are quite small, yes, but do you know what I mean? Don't be that pedantic shit. You know who you are. Stop it. And I thought I'd just remind you, the argument of meritocracy was also a regurgitated talking point from the anti-SJWs and Skeptic Clones trademark of 2015 to 2017. This stuff has been going on for years and the fact it circled back is alarming. Then again, those same people lost the, uh, I believe called it the culture war? Sure, I don't care enough. I just think everyone should be treated the same. And for the sake of it, I'm willing to sit back and watch this particular case as it unfolds further, because I am intrigued to see whether or not David Duval will get his money, get more money, less money, no money at all, or whether or not the courts further up will side with Novant Health, which does yes mean I don't have an opinion. I just find this very interesting for obvious reasons. Now as we're done, I'd like to know what you all think. Please do let me know in the comments down below. Drive up the engagement by smashing the like. Share the video on Twitter. If I don't see you on Twitch tonight for some fishing, I hope you'll have a fantastic day. And thank you all very much for listening.